their integrated GPUs. Oh my goodness. It's a little bit more complicated than that. You can check out the link in the video description to go over to Pharonix where they have a detailed breakdown of it, but basically it enabled an IO vectorization pass for NIR that is originally based on the ACO code for the Mesa Radeon Vulcan driver. And that once it put into Intel, it gave better performance in Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, Doom, Shadow of Mordor, Dirt, Showdown, Batman titles, and all of that. Hectic, hectic stuff. But what's also hectic is just how destroyed Intel got yesterday with the launch of the new AMD Ryzen 4000 laptops. I haven't seen a single review that doesn't just spell the death toll for Intel. It is bad. You can check out a link to an aggregated review list down below, but Linus Tech Tips, Hardware Unboxed, basically everybody who got their hands on Ryzen CPU laptops were just like, what is Intel doing? Not only is it faster or as fast, but it also does it at considerably less power, like half the power usage. It's crazy. AMD just wrecking the field when it comes to laptops. Obviously the biggest thing with laptops is not necessarily how good your parts are, but how many OEMs are gonna pick you up. And really there's only a few models out there right now for the Ryzen laptops, but hopefully this now morning, that they've shown just how massively me? popular the Zen 2 CPUs are in the mobile form factor, we might be able to see way. more companies but such as Dell, HP, Lenovo, pick them up and use them as we their preeminent CPU in isn't. all of their laptops. Fact, that would be the best thing. But not to give AMD all of the glory, okay? And not to give AMD all of the news. There's some indication of the i9-10980HK, which is only going to be so a slightly overclocked version of what's already the out there. There's an MSI really? gaming laptop is that's been listed the for this. The MSI GS66 Stealth 10SG gaming laptop, which is supposed to arrive at the end of May. It was listed to have the highest core i9 it has an RTX 2080 Super and a 300 Hertz panel. So it's gonna be a big deal, which we have to see proof. with AMD laptops. Are we gonna get things like a RTX 2080 but Super Super? And are we gonna get high refresh rate, super high refresh rate? Just have to wait and see. But while people and gamers want high refresh rate, cloud servers want high people usage. And that's what they're getting now that everybody's staying going. home due to the Voldemort Until issue. With Microsoft get. Azure saying that their traffic has surged 775% amid everything that's going on. Microsoft saying that they're completely capable of dealing with all of this, but there's things such as Microsoft Teams, which allow